Oh, the circle is complete. At least for Clone Wars fans, I bet they were squeeing the whole time doing this episode. <laughs> Star Wars. Hey guys, this is my review for Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 5. This was the return of Dave Fioni in the director's chair, and I can definitely say he did a much better job with this episode. Well, it also helped that the episode was a lot more interesting than the episode he directed in the first season. The first season of his was the one with that bounty hunter kid. Honestly, it was kind of a very boring episode. I thought it was actually the dullest episode of that entire season. This one, however, was much, much better because he got to do a live-action interpretation of a character that he had a hand in and guided for over a decade from the Clone Wars, Ahsoka. It was really cool to see this character in a real form with Rosie O'Dawson doing the role. Apologize if I said that wrong, I'm always very terrible at saying names. She was great to see as this character. I thought that she did a good job as a mature version of this character. I thought that the fight choreography with her character was pretty good. And I did enjoy the connection that she had with Mandalorian as well as the child. There was one kind of weird thing about this episode though is that Kyle Reese is here and he's kind of just here. For all the big names that have been in this show so far, even John Leguizamo had kind of a cool character, but of course in weird alien makeup in the first episode. But every single big name that's been dropped in this season has been a cool character. Michael Bean's just... He's just here. And before you know it, Kyle Reese is out just as fast. I did enjoy the art aesthetic of this episode. I did enjoy that the Ahsoka still has that lone wanderer kind of feel that she is this rogue agent. She's doing the right thing, but she's not following the Jedi creed. And that's why even after we find out that the little child's name is Groku, Groku, Groku. No, he's not Goku. When we find out that she can't help him, she tells him to go to another Jedi to continue his quest. I thought that this was a pretty solid episode. I thought the action was really fun. I did like the dynamic of the two of them fighting with each other. It felt like the shortest episode though out of all of the episodes of this season so far. So that might have been one kind of negative to it, but it was really good to see Fioni really improve with his directing style and with the action pieces of it and just the general entertainment of this episode was far better great lore and legends love and appreciation and respect which is a kind of a given for fioni but is it been Filoni? Should I have been saying Filoni this whole time? So before I butcher anyone else's names, I'm just going to give the rating for it. I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 7. I thought it was a solid episode. It's not the best one in, of the season so far, but it's continuing this very, very solid, damn good feeling that we've been having for all of these episodes. I cannot wait to watch tonight's episode whenever I get home from work and I will have a review for that for you either tonight or tomorrow morning. But either way guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are enjoying the Mando season 2. Tell me what you guys think about it in the comments below. And if you liked it, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.